Jacksonville rapper known as Folio made a rare court appearance today, just days before jury selection in his criminal case is scheduled to begin. Folio, whose real name is Charles Jones, is charged with felony fleeing and eluding police during an April traffic stop. Hey man, listen! Hands out! Hands out! Turn around! Turn around! Bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. I want you to be laying on the door. Whose keys is this, bro? That's my rental key. What's going on? All right. So, I ain't want to bring it up. I know you're going to be upset. Um, Mitch, uh, there's some detectives I want to talk to you real quick about what happened to Mitch. Come on. How long that's going to take? Not that long. Depends on you. Uh, some of property in my car. Okay. Inside, pardon. Uh, fuck. What the fuck? This nigga. I'm gonna throw my motherfucking elbow, man. Uh, what the fuck? Bro, I think this nigga broke my shit on oh, Kendra Gray, man. What the fuck? Hey, do you know what they gonna do? No, I'm wrong with you, Tom. Hmm? What are you done? Whatever. So, there's... No. How you gonna detect the Macintosh? How uh, you doing? I'm, I'm doing well, man. Um, I'm, I'm not here, obviously, to talk, talk to you about um, what you are 
you know, arrested for right now. I'm arrested? Or what you detained for. Yeah. Um, I apologize about that. So those, those things will come up later while you're down here as far as, you know, being in the back of the police car, right? Mm-hmm. Um, are you Charles Andrew Jones II? Mm-hmm. Date of birth, 621-1998. All right. Um, what's your social? I don't even remember. Okay. That's fine. All right, the reason why I'm here, I'm with the homicide unit, um, and I am lead on your friend's case. Ooh. You don't, you don't have, you have a friend that just recently got killed? Uh, a lot of friends that, uh-huh. Recently? Mitch? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm lead on that. Um, I know that, uh, I don't know how close you guys were. So, I mean, just kind of give me some insight on, you know, the reason why I want to talk to you, because that's your friend first and foremost, and I'm sure yeah. you want something done about what happened to him, but um, can you kind of give me a, you know, just run down on your relationship when y'all met? How long y'all been partners or whatever? Sure. Um, probably when he was like 12, 13. Okay. Yeah, I was then. probably like 16, 15, some shit like that. So what what did y'all what was y'all relationship um, you know as y'all got older? He used to come to my mama house. I used to stay on the corner. Okay. He used to come over there. Okay. My brother Kendra who died. Everybody used to come out. He used to come over there. So his, you know what I'm saying, support and shit. What um what type of work do you do? Hmm? What type I'm of artist? That's You're an artist. Yeah. Okay. As far as like what you rap? Yeah. Okay. Who you rap for? I like what's your what's your label? Create music. You create music? No, it's called Create Music Group. Create Music Group? Yeah. How long you been a rapper? All my life, really. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, and what was what was Mitch? What was his role in your in your uh, for your your entertainment purposes? Like, what was his role with you? What would you call him? That's just my brother. He ain't really had no role. Okay. Just a nigga I grew up with. <clears throat> so why you? What you still? Why you in Jacksonville for? Hmm? I came back down there, bit this this how quick shit happened. You know what I'm saying? What <laughs> you was here for? Yo, we got you. I did, yeah, I got people here, but I just came down there, bit this how quick shit happened. How you get back and forth? You just drive or you fly? Both. I drive, fly. Whatever. You drive to California? Hmm? No, hell no. I fly to Cali. Hell. Man, that's like that's a long thirty hour drive or something. Well, as far as as far as minutes go, what do you? What are you hearing? And I, and I know, and nah, real shit though. I was in Miami when when I heard the news. You know what I'm saying? I was down south with the mom making music and shit. And I saw niggas just posting on Instagram, Mitch dead. Everybody, every, the whole Jacksonville, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? So shit, I called his mom, and then she was like, shit, it's true. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? Then uh, that's how that went. Afterwards, though, like what you been here? I, I mean, this your home. This your home, boy, bro. I ain't you know gonna say, I went to his funeral and all. I ain't really. You know what I'm saying? You would never know. Who, you know what I'm saying? Right, Niggas ain't gonna just come out and just say, "Oh, I killed him." You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm talking about y'all group. Like from your end, who you? What names are you guys hearing? I ain't really hearing shit. That's what I'm saying. You ain't gonna. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, has there been? Let me ask you this. And. I don't know, like, the dynamics of your, you know, your rap career and things of that nature. Yeah. Um, I know everybody made diss songs back and forth towards each other. Um, so, was there anything within your your group um, that was happening? Like, anybody was feuding or anybody had beef with one another um, within your within your circle? Okay. Not nobody else. Uh, we'll be chilling, bro. I don't be on that. You don't be on what? Like, 
But the, why would I be for my brothers? That don't, that don't make sense. I'm just saying, well, because the only reason I ask that is because of like when it comes to like money situations and people not getting their money or you know if somebody feel like they're getting short or anything of that nature, then that's when infighting begins. You know what I'm saying? Not like probably directly or just anything. It's just because of money situations going on. But um, I'm a rapper, right? If I'm getting the money, who who can be getting shorted? I'm getting the money. Well, you know I mean, everybody can get shit. I don't owe nobody shit. Get what I'm saying? Not, not necessarily you, but somebody within there feeling like they ain't getting theirs. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Is, was there anything like that going on? No, hell no. <clears throat> well, again, I guess my question more so is what what have you been hearing since this, this happened in January? So I'm, I'm pretty sure you heard some things. Um, that may, you know, what I'm saying, be able to lead to, you know, successful as far as finding out uh, who may have been involved, or, you know, what I'm saying, because what we don't want is um, like back and forth retaliation. You get what I'm saying? If you guys, if you may know or hear something, that that'd be helpful as well. Because if you know his mom, you you can sit up there and call his mom. Then I'm pretty sure you would want her to have some answers as well. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real, listen. I'm a little I'm a little brother Greg. Okay. I don't know who did this. I don't know. I, I ain't saying exactly who. No, I'm just saying. Like, who did you hear? You never. I ain't hear. That's what I'm saying. You'll never know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just heard shit. They said, little brother got shot. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Miami at the time, though. Mm-hmm. Recording and shit. So, boom. I'm like, fuck. Now I got to go to another funeral. Pay for his funeral and do shit like that. Mm-hmm. You ain't tired of that, man? Yeah, yeah. But I'm known of this shit. But you were? No. I mean, I get it, but like, what you gonna do about it? What you mean? You say you numb to it. Like, what? Do you, you don't feel like this a bunch of shit happening around you? Like, how that feel to you? It's a, shit, it's a blessing and a curse. Shit, I don't want nobody around me to die, but that's just how this. That's how life set up. Shit, I got shot multiple times. You mm-hmm. know what I'm that's how life set up. Do you feel like you gotta look over your shoulder all the time? I do that when I'm out of time. I just had a show in South Carolina. Like, uh-huh. And I got punt and shit. That just, on stage? Yeah, nigga punch me. There's a kid to beat him up. Like, that's just how life is. Though, bro, I'm famous. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga, a regular nigga who ain't got shit going to try, you know what I'm saying? Try to get some strikes. Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm famous, bro. How that shit be? Are you, you signed with a big record that we Mm-hmm. That's just who? Crane Music. You got that Instagram. I ain't never heard of him. I'm talking about like Universal or something like that. Nah, Craig, that's a big label shit. They got a couple niggas sitting on. Nah, they got a couple niggas on their label. They got Takashi? They got Tory Lanez. It's a couple niggas on their label. So, so back to Mitch, let me ask you this. Like, did he, um, how often, like, when was the last time you spoke with him? Uh, Before damn. he was killed. Shit. For the last time I told him, I probably lose on. Damn. Probably in the club or some shit. I don't even know. Probably in the, was we in the club in Tallahassee. Probably in Tallahassee or some shit. Tallahassee, Florida was in the club. Do you know when that was? Was that at the beginning of the year? Uh. Alright, at the end of last year. That shit probably was in like. February or some shit. I don't know. February this year? Yeah, February, late February. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah like but that couldn't have happened because he was killed in January. I don't know. I know it was in Tallahassee for sure. That was the last time I was with him. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Shit. How did y'all communicate? Did y'all communicate by like phone, Instagram, Facebook? I see him on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This like this ain't no just no regular person, you know what I'm saying? I know him for real, so I'm, I see him on a daily, you know what I'm saying? Did you know his girlfriend? I didn't know it like that, but I knew he had a baby, shit. Mm-hmm. Did you ever go around his house or anything? No, I ain't never been to his house. You didn't know where he, you didn't know where he was? I been to his first house, the one on what the fifth, but I ain't been whatever he moved in. I ain't been to that house. Do you, let me ask you this, um, did y'all have a type of relationship um, as far as like, hey man, these motherfuckers on me, or uh, you know what I'm saying, had issues with this guy, that guy, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all have a relationship like that where he would tell you, or did he mention things of that nature? You said, he said what? Like, did he mention to you that any issues that he had with anyone? 
But I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Mitch wouldn't even know, like, beef, he ain't that. You get what I'm saying? He was cool. Like, he was out the way chilling with his girl. And he wasn't that type of nigga, bro. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So this this may be a hard question. I ain't gonna say it's a hard question, but do you think that your music or your ways or the way you conduct yourself through your music had anything to do with him because of the way y'all? Nah, cause even before I was rapping, shit, it was shit going. Get what I'm saying? Like this Jacksonville, bro. Like it's a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? It's Jacksonville, bro. Mm-hmm. You, can't, know, just, that's you can't just say it's my music that why somebody died. You get know what I'm saying? Okay, do you think it influenced someone or triggered someone? Like the way y'all going back and forth with this shit? Nah, it's a million niggas made songs. It's like all through the city. Like, so I mean, you, but you know what I'm talking about. You right? can't let no songs do that. No, but you, yeah, no, but, but you said that you can't let no song do that. But be, nowadays, like you said, it's Jacksonville. A lot of things trigger people to do certain things. Man, you know that shit saying? gotta be in you. You ain't gonna let no song just go. That's like me if I hear a song that a nigga mind different, that nigga go crash me out off a song. Like, get what I'm saying? You never know, man. That's that's what I'm asking. Yeah. I'm just asking, do you feel that way? Yeah. Do you do you feel that way? No. A song can't make no nigga go through nothing, bro. I'm just asking. I'm just asking if it, if it had any influence uh, that somebody may have got him. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who you close to because of you know what I'm saying? Which all what may be rapped about or uh, what may be said through social media, things things like that. Um, the way you guys communicate, the way things are communicated or um, taken out of context sometimes. You know yeah. what I mean? um, unfortunately, you know, um, I, I want to get answers for his mom. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I think it was, it was what, what happened to him was bad. Um, and, you know, being that you're close to him, that's why I want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So, and again, you say it, people around you, you know what I'm saying, getting feel, you getting, getting in fights and shit while you rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, that's just a crazy life to live to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think all rappers are all, I ain't never seen a rapper. I mean, I, mean, I ain't gonna say I've never seen a rapper, but a lot of rappers ain't going through what you might be going through. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, at some point, that turn has to be made. Um, some, at some point, you gotta, you know, understand what's going on, but um, I digress. I mean, do you have any questions? You good right now? I'll be back in a minute, I'm sure. Okay. All right, man. We'll be back. Uh, this is your sir. You good on water? Yeah. All right. Thing, all right, read your rights and all that kind of stuff. Then we're gonna holler at you about everything that's going on, okay? More rights about what your constitutional rights before we get talking. Oh, okay, all right. You know where we're at right now? No, okay, the state attorney's office, all right. Trying to be offensive or anything like that, I gotta ask you. You can read and write, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, man, you'd be surprised. There's so many people again. Mm. So, will you read that top line for me out loud. Uh, you do not have to make a statement. No. It's so oh, that mark. You have the following rights under the United States Constitution. Cool. I'll read the rest. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, it won't be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with the lawyer. You mm-hmm. understand all that? They didn't give me my phone so I could call my lawyer. They said they were going to give them to me so I could make a call. Yeah, we, we are all, all property. Uh-huh. Okay. 
So when, when you said that, do you want your lawyer here? I mean, like you're, you're mentioning call your lawyer like that kind of is like a muddy water thing. Like, right. do you want your lawyer here before you ask any questions, or do you want to talk about what happened today? And we'll talk about what happened today. So you don't want, you don't want your you, you see how that's kind of a trick bag for us. Right. So do you want your lawyer here or no? Mm -hmm. It's good. It's straight. Yeah. It's straight to talk to you. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. And you're you're not under like any influence of drugs, right? Like you no. don't understand what's going on right now. You yeah, I understand. Okay. All good. All right. Cool. All right. You sign that top one for me. I'll put the X by. Let's just say I'm not a red to you, unless you understand. All right. We'll sign it with you. Is that how you sell all your fan mail? Mm -mm. No? Yeah, so I can't keep that? You can <laughs> sell it when you make it big? Mm -hmm. On platinum? You got a different autograph? Mm -hmm. You ain't got an autograph? Just sign this shit. Mm -hmm. oh. People don't ask you to sign a lot of stuff all the time? Yeah, I do it. Okay. What, uh, what's your tour schedule looking like? A lot of club shows. You do? Who books those for you? The label. Oh, okay. Who's that? Craig Music. Where's that from? You said that right. Cali. Is it create or create? Create music. Create, like make something yeah. create? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. I didn't really catch it earlier. I wrote it down, I wasn't even sure after you said it a couple of times. I started kind of yeah. messing it. But you, you work for them or they work for you? How does that shit work? Shit, both. Like, I make them money, they make me money. So do they pay for like all your studio time and all yeah. that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now like all the money you make from a show and stuff, they get a cut of that? Mm -hmm. They get a cut of my like royalties and shit. Royalties mm -hmm. What's that mean? Like streaming, YouTube, SoundCloud, shit like that. But you still uh, make money off of this? Yeah. They just make some too? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. How'd you get hooked up with them? They yeah, have blew me up. Oh, recently or it's been a while? A little while, but like a year ago. I gotcha. Like headhunting? No, probably like a year and a half ago, two years ago. No, I mean, it was like headhunting. Like they go out scouting talent and say, oh, yeah. this looks like a good one. Let's fly him out and talk to him. Yeah. Okay. They sign anybody else from Jacksonville? No, I don't think so. No. What, uh, how long is your contract for? Um, I got three mixtape deal with them, so whenever I get on three mixtapes. So is a mixtape like five songs? Yeah, we might that one to put on them. Yeah. Have you done any already with them? No. I haven't even done the first one? Mm-mm. No. Okay. What, um, so, so today, all right, like, you you were driving your car, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Who, who who was in the car with you? It was two other people. Two other people, and who are they to you? They just some people I know. Just some people you know? Yeah. Both of them. All right. Um, how long have you known them? Probably like a year, two. No, probably like two, three years. Two or three years for two. for each of them, or like? Yeah, probably. I grew up one of them, but the other one I probably knew like two, three years, some shit like that. Okay. Who'd you grow up with, the front seat passenger or the back yeah, seat? Yeah, the front seat passenger. Front seat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, I, he said he was like his brother or something, right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. All right. So you've known him for a while? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. So y'all are just friends, all right? Not not blood? Uh, my cousin. He's your blood cousin? Yeah, this is my cousin. That's it. Which ones? The one in the front. The one in the front, your cousin? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't barely hear you. You got all the ice in your teeth. <laughs> You're good. Um, all right, so... Um, you got dark tint on your car, right? Yeah. Okay. Why Why do you have dark tint on your car? That's how I bought it. That's how you bought it? Yeah. Why did you keep it like that? It got shot up. I mean, my car got shot up. I was on the news, Jasper, Riverside. The same car? Yeah, the same car. He got bullet holes on it. Oh, for real? And I got it back to like that. You know? I saw some damage on it, but I didn't mm -hmm. see any bullet holes. Where yeah, the bullet holes all in the roof and all. Um, shit. Where, where was that at? Riverside. Riverside. In Riverside? Yeah. Where, where whereabouts in Riverside? Uh, by the Gates gas station. When I got in the shootout, the self defense shootout. Police never came out. Yeah, the police came. Remember, I got hit in the leg. Y'all don't remember that shit happening? Oh man, there's there's a lot going on. Yeah. Oh. You got what were you doing? You were at the Gate gas station, you said? No, I was at the studio. Oh, a studio? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit, I didn't know. pulled up. I was sitting in the car. Nigga shot the car. Oh. Shot back. They got studios down there in Riverside. Yeah. Is it pretty good or? Yeah, it's great shit. Sure. You been bike? Mm hmm. You go bike? Did I go back? Mm hmm. No, I ain't been back to. No. no it's probably, probably kind of bad luck if they yeah, get shot yeah, at. Do you think they had anything to do with it? Who? 
the studio? Yeah. Nah, he's a little white dude. He cool as hell. He, yeah, no. He was clueless? Yeah, he was, he was, you know what I'm saying? The police had him in the back of the car today, they had all this. Oh, they did? Yeah. Alright. So, so shot, you said you shot back? Yeah, shot back. So the fact they took my gun and gave him back. Did you see what you were shooting at? Yeah, it was like a motherfucking car. They hopped out, two niggas hopped out shooting him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what kind of car was it? I don't know, but I know I saw two people though. Yeah. Short? They dark skinned or light skinned? I don't know, they had masks on and shit. I gotcha. COVID mask? No, like mask. Like a ski mask? Yeah, like mask, yeah. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, yeah. Man, okay. So you got dark window tint yeah. on the car when you got it. Yeah. So like you bought it and then and it went. And it came with dark tint and then it got shot up. Then it went to another shop and then I got it back like that. Okay. Did you get it retinted in between? No. Okay, I didn't know they shot out the windows. No, yeah, the windows were shot out. So you got it retinted? No, they, when I got it back from the shop, they Uh they was tinted, got shot out, they retinted it, gave it back. Oh, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So you got it retinted after the shooting and... They tinted it, the shop people, they tinted it. I guess when they put the window, when they put it on... Maybe I asked incorrectly. It got retinted in between the shooting and then... Yeah. Okay, all right. I I got it from the evidence room type shit. Right, okay. So it's been tinted twice? Yeah. Got you. Alright. So the, the, cause we put a 10 meter on it, so we got to read the tent, you feel me? Yeah. And the back windows were lighter than the front ones. Oh. Uh, so did the back ones get shot at? I don't, I can't even remember. I know for sure the front windshield, the, the, the passenger and the driver, I know for sure that. Okay. The driver, like right beside you whenever you're yeah. driving? Yeah. That yeah, one I got there? shot at. Okay. The windshield, the passenger, I forgot about the back shit. I okay. gotcha. Did okay. you change your tag or anything up after that? No. Just kept everything straight. Same mm-hmm. way it was? Yeah. Okay. And things are dark, man. It's dark? Yeah. The condo? Tent. Hell yeah. See, y'all tent dark. <laughs> Mine ain't. Uh, yeah, the whoever the police to put me over the day, they tent was dark. Not on the, not on the one? The F-150, the, the, the gray one, and the black one, it's dark. See, everybody got dark tent. It's regular. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's Florida, though, man. You feel me? You got that dark tent on there. I get, I get it, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, so so what happened today, man? The police got behind you on MOK or whatever in division right there, right? Yeah, and they and, pulled me over. Right. Why what so did you see the blue lights? Mm-hmm. You didn't see the blue lights, bro? No, until I looked back. They were like, but the police behind us and I threw it in break and they were like, Start breaching I opened the door and I walked up, they were like, Come back to what you know, the regular shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then and then all and then from what I'm to all three of y'all complied. Yeah. Right. What um so they, they turn the lights on like right right there at the vision and then okay. Mm-hmm. Like right at the turn. Because when I made a right, it's like a pool to the right, right? Uh-huh. So by the time I got past the pool, I looked back. I was like, damn, the police behind us, I think. Yeah. Then they, I saw the lights. Then he was like, brother, they the police. And I just pulled over for shit. I ain't even going nowhere. Well, well I know. Yeah, kind of, I'm kind of familiar with the area. I know that pool is a little ways down. Yeah. yeah. This is like right no, the railroad yeah. track. Yeah, correct. So like right I got the train track. Yeah. 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 So from what I'm told is they, they they went to go pull you over right there at that turn, you feel me? Yeah, and they did. You know that car got full cameras on it. Like the, the truck, the, yeah. right there by the tracks? My truck got full cameras You on. said by the tracks. No, I'm saying my truck got four cameras I'm on I'm saying when you turn and you hit the tracks, you, you right, you hit the tracks. Yeah, I went over the tracks, right. pulled to the right, Right. police might be behind me, they threw the lights on and I pulled over. Right, but you pulled over all the way down on 18th Street. No, I pulled over to the where the school the school literally right next to the pool, like on right, the left side. Yeah. The, yeah, but the pool is like you know, back here though. You know yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just it's, a little it's on the right side. Yeah, right? it ain't that far though, like right. I used to go to Grand Park, it ain't that far. Like, but the sirens and everything though, you know what I'm saying? Like they were on. You know, like why I ain't really you know what I'm saying? We got music on all types. I ain't really you know what I'm saying? I pulled over, I did what I was supposed to do. So did, when when you review your cameras on your car, you're going to see that that police car is like right here with his sirens on and the lights on. You know what I'm saying? That's loud. And you continued to roll, and then they said you you're reaching all over the car. No, I dropped my phone and I reached. Put but you were reaching over all around the car, right? Yeah, I was reaching for my phone. I was like, damn, where my phone is? Let me call my mom. Cause my mom had a camera set up in the car. It's linked to both our iClouds, so to video anything recorded from the car go to both our iClouds. I had a situation. For, you know what I'm saying? What situation? The shooting thing, so I had to keep cameras on the car now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Do you think that's a real good idea to start, you know, kind of fiddling around and 
I know it was no good or die, but I'm looking for my phone. He told the officer told me it wasn't good out there. I'm like, shit, bro, my bad shit. I ain't even no harm. I know y'all could have shot me with up. I ain't mean no harm. I mean, especially with guns in the car. And then you were saying that there was two guns in the car. And we I knew, I swear to God, on my little brother, I thought I bought my Glock outside. I swear to God, I thought I bought my Glock. I used to keep my Glock with me, bro. I got my character still. Like, the whole time it went with me, it was just my FN. So, shit, that was my mistake. Um, so, you said you were driving with your brother. Yeah. Was your brother driving with you? Yeah, 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 I got over the railroad tracks. And you looked up and you was like, damn, that's the police. I'm like, damn, that's it. Dark as I, got, I saw that truck plenty of times, bro. I saw that. That's not my first time seeing that truck. So I looked, I'm like, well, that's a police truck. Gotta be. Then I saw the lights. I'm right. like, oh, shit. And then you I'm just pulled over. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. You kept rolling, though. Yeah, a little bit, because I'm like, damn, what the fuck with my phone? Like, with my phone, like, I got to call my mama, because I'm like, I got to keep my mama on the phone. Like, that's when my auntie pulled up to the scene. She like, oh, he got to know what's going on. I need to know, you know what I'm saying? Just so they know what's going on. So there was, there was a little bit of time then while you're it was, saying, you can't like, even I gotta tell me. I got to find my phone. I got to look for my phone. Yeah. I what would you say, about 30 seconds? Probably 15 at the most. Probably 10. That pool is not that far from that school. I used to go to Grand Park. Right, but you were going, what, like 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour? Probably like 15, 20. 10. No, I wasn't going 20. I know for sure I wasn't going 20. Probably like 15, some shit like that. Because I was rolling just a little slow. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even going. I probably wasn't even going 15. You weren't even going 15? I probably wouldn't. I probably was going back probably 12, some shit like that. Okay, I mean... I mean, we don't have, like, we ain't gonna pull a radar on it, you know what I'm saying? I thought, like, I, did. I thought I got pulled over. Nobody never told me why I got pulled over that whole time. Y'all, just, nobody never said that. Y'all just not telling me this when I got here. So oh, okay. Nobody okay. never told me. Oh, okay. okay. Your tent start. We put a meter on it. It's 4% on your okay. front windshield, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, your front two windows. Uh, the ones with the... A passenger in the yeah. driver. Front driver. Just the front ones, though. Yeah. Oh. Your, your back, back ones are good. They're fine. Your back ones are at 20%, which is fine. Uh-huh. Um, but, um, so we were at the train tracks and you looked when you crossed over the tracks, right? Mm -hmm. You crossed over the tracks, boom. Then you look back and you're like, damn, that's the police because you saw the lights, right? No, I just you know the car. I know the car, bro. I know the car. Well, you just said you saw the lights, though. Man, that's no, what I'm trying to get this By the straight. time I crossed the tracks, as soon as you crossed the tracks, the pool to the right, I look back, I say, why the that's the police. I'm driving a little bit, I look back, see the lights, roll a little bit, pull over. I don't get what to do. I pulled over. You know what I mean? But you kept rolling though with the lights that are illuminated, man. And the siren on. And the siren was on. We got cameras. When we got out of the truck, my like the siren was on. And then I bet y'all ain't turned the lights on when I made the turn coming out whatever I was. So making the turn, Charles, okay, and coming over the tracks and, and lighting it up after the tracks are two different things. I'm saying you say y'all turned it on as soon as I made the turn. No, right? I'm saying when you rode across the tracks is what I'm saying. Then y'all, uh, that's when you say you turned right, it on. Right when we hit the so railroad tracks. So you telling me you turned it on when I crossed right, the railroad tracks? Right when we crossed the railroad tracks. No, I'm just saying. That's just how I talk. You're, you're, you're talking a span of 50 feet. Yeah. If that, from the tracks to the damn, to MLK, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? It's not that big of a deal. That's no, like, what I'm saying. I'm just so, after, so, so when you crossed the railroad tracks is when the lights were turned on, okay? As we were crossing the railroad tracks. You got me? Yeah. Okay? And then that's when you say, because the pool's right by the railroad tracks, right? Mm-hmm. Yes or no? I, I can't. Yeah, okay, as okay, yeah, right. soon as you cross the pool, like right there, right there. Right there yeah. yeah. And then if we pull it up, it's probably like another, maybe like a tenth of a mile from the pool to where you finally stopped at. At 18th and Division was where we were at. So you got to think if, if 20th and 19th, you know, ran straight through and then get cut off by Grand Park School. You feel me? That was yeah, too. That was I was lined up with the school too. I was lined up with the side of the school. Right. Bro. That would approximately be probably th about three blocks that you traveled. No, it wasn't no three blocks. If the streets came through, you would have gone from MLK to 20th to 19th and then stopped at 18th. That's what he's saying. If the streets, if the streets came the through, okay. you know, they didn't stop at Grand Park High School or school. Huh. Okay? That's what I'm just trying to get at, man. Yeah, I don't, I get it, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't get it. I get what you're saying. You're saying that the streets, I get it. All right. All right. And, and and our lights were on, why didn't you just stop right there at the pool? That's a hell of a lot safer than stopping in the middle of an intersection. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Just give me that. Would you agree, yes or no? But I don't have some moments, bro, with the police, so I, you could say that, but my little brother done been killed by the police, so. 
Well, I, I just don't want to say it just to say it, bro. You feel me? Yeah. All right? I, I just don't want to say it just to say it, but pulling over right over the railroad tracks right by a pool where nobody like nobody's at but it's it's a wide open place is a lot safer than stopping in the middle of 18th street and division mm-hmm. you got a t intersection coming right up. there you, and, you know and then there's space in between where the road stopped and the, it's called a shoulder okay where the road and the dirt meet you feel yeah. me there's like there was a couple feet in between that or whatever i didn't look but we took a photograph of it yeah like what what would be safer in, in your lifetime, to, to stop right here or to stop in a busy ass intersection where do where busy happening. intersection so people can see what's going on. But Division Street isn't a it highly is. traveled street. Yeah, yeah. I say I will pull over so people can see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You gotta understand. What I'm, you know what I'm saying? So Division and 18th is busier than MLK and Division. I, I ain't see y'all track. then. You talking about when you turn? I, I ain't tracks. I don't. This is nothing but a pool right there. You saying you telling me I should have pulled to a pool? Pull right I know that whole side neighborhood side. pull to the pool. Right I, to the side. Nobody at the I pool. I would say yes, pull to the pool. Nobody at the pool. You got to look, look getting side. off to yeah. the side. I, 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 I probably get complete with y'all saying, but pull to the pool. Though. Well, yes, because that's when you first got, we're getting pulled over. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no, no. This, this is, hey, I'm getting pulled over here. I'm going to drive a little bit. You to know, call to get your phone, your phone fell down. Right. You kept driving. You said you're trying to call your mom and all that stuff, but you kept driving, bro. I wasn't. I was just rolling, bro. It is what it is. Bro. See, I'm trying to work with y'all, but I'm getting like frustrated. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to frustrate you, man. Frustrated. We're not trying to frustrate you. We're just a man to man talk, bro. Yeah. yeah. Man to man talk. That's all. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You understand? We're just trying to see what was going on in between here and here. Who Who was your brother? You said they got. That got hurt by the police. Kendrick. Oh, he got killed by the Kendrick police. Kendrick also got killed by Noble. Noble's on the list. Both the best fight. He probably been getting fighting a little bit. Okay. What, um, who, who else, who else do you hang out with? Mm-hmm. Like, who, who else do you, you hang out with these three? Just in general. Oh, I don't think you finna show me a picture or something. What you mean? Oh, no, man. Oh, I don't think you finna show me a picture or something. Oh, man. You talking about the people in the car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah, they cool as hell. Who, who, who else you kick it with? Shit. Follow my dog around my town. I be with rappers and shit, bro. Your, your dog Wham, he's from out of town? Yeah, but he be like back and forth and shit. He cool as hell. Oh, he comes up here? Yeah. What's his name? Like his I don't know his right name. I know his right name. Why don't shit? He cool as fuck. Yeah. Like some shit. yeah. You hang out with Project Young at all? Yeah, I be with Young, he's cool as fuck. We got, come on, he got songs on YouTube, World Star and shit, yeah. Oh, I, well, right, last time I saw y'all was when y'all was with them? No, I was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that's the last time I saw yeah. him in Jacksonville. He ain't got yeah, 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 y'all scared him. <laughs> so, y'all scared him. He ain't been back since. Yeah, he ain't been back. Y'all scared him. <laughs> but, um, he's down, where's he down? Tampa? Oh, uh, no, nah, he probably in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, where you laying your head at now? Well, shit. Just wherever you can get it. Yeah. I don't even be in the side. I just be on the road. Shit, I've been in Keller for real. Yeah. You busy? Yeah. All the time? Yeah, I just came from a show, shit, like t- two days ago, three days ago. How often you come back? I'll be like in the night, shit. Just like, passing through? Yeah. Same as that? Through our pilot set. Leave the next day, leave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all stay on, on the north side when you come back? Hmm. You I stay st- on Heart Ridge. Heart Ridge? Like, where's that? Where the, um, what that shit called over there? West Jax Elementary, like division on the other side though. Okay. Like West Jax, right. where the police station at? Oh, oh Conwell. Yeah, Conwell. Oh, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's where you. That's where you normally be at whenever yeah. you're in town. Whenever you're in and out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you know you're gonna be staying over there since you're 16, 14, 15. I'd be in and out, bro. You can't tell me that I'd be in and out. When last time you actually slept there? Probably two days ago. I've been, I've been in the city for two days. Who says that? Me. <laughs> Me. Just you? Yeah, I've been in the city. Who lives That's my mama house. She own that house. She own it? Yeah. She don't stay there? Hmm? She don't stay there? Mm-mm. Mm. Uh, what, uh, where was your last show this weekend? In Sunk, the South Carolina. What was up with the homeboy getting on the stage? She, he punched me, she, I don't know. He got all the way up there and, got, and snuck you? What is your security guards doing? Shit, they got him. They beat him bad. Shit, he got beat. He, did. he punched me. I ain't gonna lie. He I thought me. I thought the point of security was to not let him get that close in the first place. I let it soil like a trampoline from that stage, but he got up there too fast. 
He was what now? He was a trampoline. A trampoline. And so he just jumped up there? Yeah. I knew it. Like Batman or some shit. He got you good? Yeah, yeah. He punched the shit out, man. Did you keep rapping? Huh? No. Hell no. No, you stopped my money and left. For real? You didn't finish the show? I don't blame you on that. Shit. What, uh... With that, people were saying that that was you on the floor, and I'm like, his security guards are gonna be beating him up. Oh no, hell no. Yeah, It'd just be people talking shit in the city. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of shit talking out there. Mm. What? Um, how, so what? Uh, how, how are you in the city? Hmm. How are you in the city? You got a lot of fans. Yeah, this shit is great, but you know, shit, it's great. I be in the mall sometimes, shit, take a picture, but it's it is what it is. Yeah. Mm. You got pressure anywhere? Pressure? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you think I mean? What's pressure? Pressure, like is your face good everywhere in the city? I'm just asking, bro, I never talked to you before. Where you got hate? But Where are people hate like? I don't know, shit. Niggas won't like me because I'm a rapper. That's it. I'm doing better than a lot of shit. Regular people, just like the nigga who punched me. I don't know this nigga from a can of paint. He didn't punch me because... Get clout, get mm-hmm. money, probably get an interview out there, uh, probably just make jealous. a song. Like, yeah. Um, you think people rap about real life shit? No, most of that shit, niggas be cap. That shit like, they be taking credit for shit they didn't do? No, nah, niggas just be cap. we just rapping about shit. Like, that shit be cap. Like, you got a lot of rappers who just cap. Yeah. Just to stay on top? Mm, just to be relevant or some shit. Yeah. I don't know, niggas just be cap. People be capping when they rap about you? Shit, I don't know shit, you gotta ask them. A nigga rap about me shit. Well, I, mean, I look at a nigga like, I hear a thousand diss songs a day about me. Yeah, but if they say something, I don't you, know what this shit. You can say, hey, this is bullshit or whatever, you know what I mean? I ain't responding like, No, 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 I'm just saying in your head. Yeah. You don't, you don't be saying, oh, no, that's wrong. No. I just let niggas talk shit, they gonna do that regardless. Do you you rap, talk back in your music, though. I got done a million followers, bro, like, so yeah. niggas gonna do that. Yeah. Would you agree that the, those those million followers, a majority of them, follow you because of the type of music you do? You said they follow me for the music I do. Yeah, for the type of music you do. If you switched up the style of your music, would would they would still would you be still selling I got a million? Of crazy songs, bro. I got play with me. Why would you play with me? I got rough ride. I got a lot of songs that's not. You know what I'm saying? Right, but you but the majority of your songs is drill rap. Nah, it's probably fifty fifty. 50, 50. You gotta really listen to my songs. If you just pay attention to that, then that's what you're gonna get out of. But you, you think my real fans know what it is. You think all your fans are listening to you for which 50% of them? See, the 50% is half and half. That's what I'm saying. What's the, what's the song that got the most views that you've ever had? Play with me. It got more Why songs would than you play with me? Why would you? That's the one that blew me up on TikTok. That's how I got famous. So when I see you didn't put you on them, didn't no, make that you famous? blew me up more, but Play With Me is the one that got put on TikTok. I went number one, all type of shit. That still got more views than when I see Why you? Why would you play with me? Yes. On TikTok, that would blew me up. That's how they found out about me. When did you drop that? Probably like a year ago. A year and a half ago, some shit like that. So that was right before when I see you then? Probably was, yeah. Like just a month or two. Something like that? No, hell no. Probably like four. Yeah. Not long then. Yeah. It went viral on TikTok like Spottom song went viral on TikTok? Yeah, play with me. But nobody knows it was my song at first type shit. Cause it sound like some melodic juice rare or some shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some shit like that. Mm. What um what uh did is J Dye or, or or Jarvo getting signed anywhere? <laughs> Not J, not J, not the one. I'm talking about Jalen. I don't know, man. I, that man, these people don't rap like me, like I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they went to Cali with you, right? I don't rap like me, man. They, shit, they just dead just to have a good time. Shit. You don't help boost them up on their careers. They don't rap, shit. I drop it does. He just dropped this thing. Oh shit! I'm saying he trying. Five six is what he dropped. Yeah, he right? trying. He shit. He doing what he shit. What he want to do? He, 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 he is own grown man. Shit, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah, but you can you can help them out. You can influence them and say, all right, this, I've been I in the industry. Long, nice. you say, I've been you're in the industry longer than you. You a grown like, man. You do what you do. I do what I do. But you just uh, you don't want to kind of guide him. You can how am I guide somebody? He grown like me. Put on drawers. Yeah, and but like you've been doing all this more than he has, longer than he has. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, you're signed. You know all the ins and outs, no? The coach yeah. get signed. No, if you round me, you see what's going on. You could just take the foot step, drop music, shit. Uh, so it's, it's up to them. Yeah, it's up to you. If you want to do music, shit, I don't force no nigga to do shit. Did you and K. Shorty get along? Yeah, that my little brother. 
Okay, so y'all didn't, y'all have any pressure? Mm. No. A lot of people say that y'all had issues with each other. It's the internet. You got interviewers and shit like that. It's the internet. They don't know what's going on. It's just the internet. They're making it up. Yeah. You ever do you ever see Jake Jit or who? Jake Jit. Who the fuck is that? It's free and you always be with Yeah. Oh, Fat J. Who the fuck? Y'all know who that is? Japan? How about that one? Yeah, nah. What the fuck? You only ever see him? He's always hanging out with your brother. Nah, nah, not like when I say my brother did, like that's... That's what I'm saying, so you don't keep track of the people that you're close with? But niggas grown, bro. I could be right here in Cali, niggas way doing what they doing, like... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So you, you trying to take anybody with you out the city? Huh? You trying to take anybody with you out the city? What you mean, like shows and shit? Yeah, like bring the people out, man. Take them out the hood. Like you made it out the hood. Shit, bring the people with you. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I'm the type of person. You want to support me, call me. I don't know. But they got to support you, your call? Yeah, I don't be on no face shit, like, right? you know, gotta support a nigga, you can't just come get up, hop your ass up and just call me. But you don't want to help them get out? And by helping them, nigga, it's by this, you genuine, if you real, like, niggas just come around because that's what a nigga got, because nigga got money and shit, like, jury and shit like that. I mean, you can make friends once you're famous. I got rapper friends and shit, like, that's... You that's can like, make friends with regular people once you're famous? Shit, ain't wrong. What is going to ain't gonna benefit me. So it's all about what benefits you. Yeah, it got a sense. Mm. Man, that's, that's rough, rough life or rough way to live life, at least. No, no, that's like that's like your homeboys, man, like your mud brothers that went like back in the day. Yeah. yeah. And then you know the ones that still with you, like Kojak and and all the other ones that are still riding with you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna try to bring them out. You're gonna just leave them right back in freaking north side of Jacksonville. Oh, they doing what they doing, bro. People got their own shit going on, man. You know what you gotta understand? People got their own shit going on, bro. Mm-hmm. The nigga got kids and some more shit, so I can't just. I got a family too, shit. You got your? I got a jit on the way, but shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, what it is. Yeah. Where she stay at? In Gainesville. Oh, okay. Y'all stay together? Mm mm. She got a little apartment, do a little house shit. You at least help her out. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm gotta ask, man. He's got to. Yeah. He ain't like that. What, uh, where's your next show at? Mm, in California, or San Diego, or some shit. Your shows sell out? Yeah, I'm gonna be straight. Yeah, how much you average for a show? I feel like probably like 20,000, 25,000, some shit like that. What kind of venues are these? Yeah, I mean, good clubs, some regular clubs. Yeah, it depends. Like Onyx, huh? like that kind of club, like Onyx on Norwood. Like probably depends. Like it'll probably be a club like that, but then it probably be a strip club, or it probably be like an outside event. It just depends. What yeah, I, okay. You know. When are you gonna put a show on them, that freaking Moncrief Liquors or something? Ooh. You don't know what the Moncrief Liquors is? The hell is that? The right there, right there, right there, Moncrief Road. Yeah. Man, do it, show it a liquor store, that don't make sense. Sure, you better check it out. Come on, man. Liquor store, man, that's not what I'm saying. What about the gate gas station right there at 45th? They got plenty of room. Hell, man. You gonna do one in Jacksonville? Yeah, that'd be dumb. I already did a show in Jacksonville. When'd you do one in Jacksonville? You don't throw it, brought me out at Daly's on a tour, on a Justin Bieber tour. Hmm. Okay. What about you? That was like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Hmm? A couple weeks ago? No, I said it was a couple months ago. What about your own show? Are you gonna you gonna put on your own show here in the city? If y'all let me see, give out the community and shit. Shit, we let Papa do his show here. That's him on me. What you mean? He him on me, shit. Right. Well, I mean, we gonna let him do one. We gonna let you do one. I don't think anybody's stopping you from putting on a show. Mm-hmm. For real? Mm-hmm. No. You scared to put on a show in Jacksonville? Be real. Perform at Daly's place. Was that? Was that kind of a surprise showing them? Mm-hmm. Is it a I, I, I promoted it. Young Thug say, oh, promote the show and bring you out on tour. Oh, you do? And I came, I did this on my Instagram. And I came and I did the show. Oh. What does the N stand for since you brought up your Instagram? That's my label. What is it? What does it stand for? Yeah. Like, what does it stand for? I ain't no mean this. That's my label. I got a copyright. PCT wasn't your label? Hell no. I fuck. I'm my own shit. What does that stand for? I don't know. Ask that label, shit. I don't know what it is. Who would I have to ask to ask that label? 
Well, whatever it is, you asking me about nothing, nigga shit. I don't know. Man, you know. No, I don't. I know and it's my shit. I got a copyright. I got a stamp with Craig Music. I get a bust down budget. I, 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 I get you on that. I feel you on that. But oh, you, you may walk around with your freaking hoodie cinched down, bro. You feel me? So you can only see this. But in all reality, you see everything that's going on. You know, you you can tell me who, who's, who's them, whose label that is or the label that is. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. Just because you physically walk around and you don't want to see shit because you want to keep your face covered up in Jacksonville doesn't mean you don't know whose label that is. You know what I'm saying? Didn't they used to promote your music? Who? PCT Entertainment. I always have my own YouTube. You always had your own YouTube? Yeah. I always drop my own shit. Do you know what it stands for? It ain't no man. It's just man. I fuck with my sports. Like, like, do you know what like it stands for, though? Like, Are you talking about sports? Yeah. Yeah, no. I really don't. It's some crazy shit. Uh, so you just said I like that, I'm gonna call my label up. Yeah, I watch that shit so much shit. Man, I almost got a copyright claim about that shit too. Do you see Trey Boy since he's been out? Mm-mm. No. I don't hang with niggas. You don't hang with them? I don't hang with niggas. What you mean by that? I I be on my own time and I don't hang with niggas shit. I mean you wasn't on your own today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, they straight, they cool, that's blood shit. I don't is oh, Kojak blood? Yeah, that's my little cousin. See, his mama came to the scene. Oh, she did? Yeah, that was his mama. No, I didn't, I didn't see her. I was sitting in my truck. All right, man. So you still stay at Heart Ridge Street? Uh, I'll be in the uh, So if I need to contact you, I'll go to Heart Ridge? I gave one of y'all my number. Two of y'all finna be calling my phone. No. Nah. One of y'all I gave my number. Do you want us to call you? No, I gave one. Oh, it was the black dude. It was the black one. Uh, yeah. We can call you if you want to. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, 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 he's, he's just trying to, you know, get justice for with, with, with Mitchell. No, Mitchell right. He talking about the gang tag dude. When he walked up to me with the little notepad and asked me, oh, what's your number? Oh. The, 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 the dude who was on the scene. Oh, I got you. All right. Thank all right, man. We'll be back with you in a second, yeah, man. all right? What's going on? Like, I can't make a phone call to have somebody outside. Wait. I do have a quick question for you though. Yeah. Completely unrelated. Um, so I actually investigated the murder of Charles McCormick. Yeah. What is his relationship to you? Oh, I ain't really hang around him like that. I know y'all made like a couple like you were in the yeah, studio he, together or something. Yeah, he paid me for a future before, but I ain't really hang around but like that. Okay. Yeah. But no nah, though, I can't have a rock waiting outside though. Gee, that uh, police car take anywhere you need to go. Bruh, please don't do me like that, bruh. No, I'm for real. I'm so serious. So you gonna have the police drop me off somewhere? Wherever you need to go, yeah. How I'ma do that? I thought y'all see it. It's like I'm Don't need lot don't need cap to me now. You said I can make a phone call though. You took yeah. the phone out of me though, please. Yeah, I, I don't take like real phone call. here, like you know what I'm saying? I ain't You right. Hey, so you know, make let you make a phone call here in a little bit, man. Right, we thought you was up, we heard some noise, we know what was going on. Oh. Flip the ball. All right. All right. Put out the perfect set, cause it ain't working yet. What a pound in there, we finna work with that. I'm fading, I'm feeling sorrow. Tonight I'm in the bed about tomorrow. Say, Mom, hey, Mom, I've been feeling homesick. It demons inside my heart, and I've been feeling growing. I call people around me without even knowing. 
Y'all can't do for the chances that they wasn't sure. People that stand you on your back and smile in your face. People that act how they act, but they want your space. Say that is love out they mouth, but they really hate. Swab it, looking for peace, they beg for space. Lord, I'm just digging to an end. Lord, I'm just a nigga, so I see We spin it, but we spin it, but then spin again. He got to think about what he did. I've been feeling pain so long. I don't make no, I don't make it no better. I give my heart to whoever. They take it and they run. Yeah, I had me, but she lost me. I'm not mad, I'm exhausted. Please, please, if you come around, give me something to make me smile. It's been so many dark days, been so many dark days, dark clouds, been so many dark days, been so many dark days, dark clouds. I pray for love. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you in just a second. We'll uh, work back to you out here, okay? Uh, I didn't pee any bottle. No, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll, you, we'll, we'll let you go to the bathroom here in just a second. Uh, Thank you. 